Hello, Los Angeles. Welcome, Louis Zamperini. Good to see you, Louis. <laughs> All right. He's a hometown boy right here. The Torrance Tornado. <laughs> Louie, you have lived the most amazing life of any man I have ever lived. You're the only person I've ever met who shook hands with Hitler, punched a shark in the nose, and went forward and accepted Christ at the Billy Graham crusade. And, and your life, it's recorded in the book Unbroken, written by Laura Hildebrand. Uh, as said, it's been on the New York Times bestseller list. It's going to be made into a major motion picture. But, Louis, you, you've suffered. It's like you've lived, lived multiple lifetimes. You know, Louis, the, the track star in Torrance, not far from here. Louis, uh, who ran in the Olympics in Germany. Louis, who fought in World War II. Louis, who was a prisoner of war in a Japanese camp. Uh, Louis, the alcoholic. And now, Louis, the Christian. All the suffering you've gone through in your life, do you feel it prepared you for something later in life? I never knew it until I became a Christian and I realized what it was all about. Yeah, and you found what you were looking for in a relationship with Jesus Christ not far from here in a tent with a young evangelist from North Carolina named Billy Graham. Now, when you went that night with your wife, Cynthia, you didn't really want to go, did you? No, no. Why didn't you want to go? Well, I, I, in those days, the evangelism was kind of a dirty word. Yeah. And uh, that's why Billy got no attention until uh, uh, the wiretapper for Mickey Cohen and Stuart Hamlin, the famous cowboy singer, right. and uh, myself as an Olympian, we all three became Christians the same week. Right. And because of that, uh, Hearst newspapers decided to right. blow up Billy Graham. And he's been blowing up ever since. Yeah, so basically what happened in that tent was here's a guy who was a wiretapper for the mob. He comes to faith in Christ, a very well-known celebrity of that day, uh, comes to faith as well. So it got the attention of people, including you. And uh, But you made a promise to God when you were on that raft for, was it 47 days, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, fighting off sharks, fighting for your survival. You made a promise to God that if he got you out of it, you would turn to him, and you remember that promise in 1949. I remember it very much, and um, it seemed like every time I escaped uh, death narrowly, uh, that I would uh, thank God for saving my life, and then I prayed that if he would get me home from the war alive, I would seek him and serve him. I came home alive, and I turned my back on him. But on that night in 1949, you didn't turn your back on him. You made a commitment to Christ. Have you ever regretted making that decision to follow Jesus Christ? Well, the, the thing that got me uh, started was the, first of all, the, the Watanabe, the rotten guard. Yeah. If it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't have had post-traumatic stress. Yeah. So I can look back and say, even though he was a brutal guard, all things do work together for good. Yes. Because eventually as a result of his tormenting me, I had these uh, nightmares and uh, started drinking heavily. My wife decided to get a divorce. She went down to hear Billy and came home talking about this new life in Christ and tried to persuade me into going down, but I refused. But she did say, because of my conversion, I'm not going to get a divorce. Well, that made me happy. So the next day I went with her, but I walked out mad because he was talking about sin, and I knew I was a sinner. But she got me back the next day, and... Uh, I started to leave again, but he said something like, um, when people come to the end of the rope and there's nowhere else to turn, they turn to God. And I thought, yeah, that's what happened to me over and over again. And I came home alive. God kept his promise, but I didn't keep mine. And I really felt ashamed of myself. I went back to the prayer room. I got on my knees. In a matter of a couple of minutes, my whole life changed. Changed by Jesus Christ. Thank you, Louis Zamperini, for your service to our country and all that you've done. God bless you.